Indeed. Indeed. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for you, Warden. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for you, Warden. So, you and Alistair? You and Alistair. Together, looking contented. You even have a glow about you. So shameless. So, how is Alistair?
You know what I mean. Alistair and you, those long nights. He must be quite delightful. You wouldn't be so happy otherwise, I think. He's athletic. That's always nice. He is also good at following instructions, isn't he? Ooh, fascinating. The little Templar is all grown up and apparently he <clears throat> plays well with others. You must keep me updated on any new developments. How can I? Oh, it's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since Ureldon in the 13th century! Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No. My parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Of course, a reward. I was just bringing some lyrium in from the storeroom. Will that do? I have either a lyrium rune that can be implanted in any weapon, or some of the serum mages use. Which do you want? Here you go. I hope it's enough to thank you. I'll never forget what you did. If you ever go to the circle again, Maybe I'll see you there. What comes, my friend? I have heard much about the halls of the Dwarven Kings, but the stories do it no justice. It is so strange, harsh, yet beautiful. And have you seen those tiny pig-like burrowing animals? They are adorable. I wish I could have one as a pet. But they must be hard to catch and... Oh, just ignore me. I'm so silly sometimes. Let's just go. Yes? Why is someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much? Nugs? Yes. They don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. What for? You going to cook them up yourself? Yeah, I can find a Nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat. They always seem healthier, you know, shiny coats, bright eyes. How much you giving me? Don't know. Depends on how big a one I catch. Give me some time. I'll hunt him down for you. back. You got more business for me? Of course.
I got him. He's all squirmy, but he's a big fella. Forty silver? Real silver? I... I could buy something proper with that. A good meal, maybe a real blanket. I knew you'd be good on your word. Nice doing business. Oh, it's one of those subterranean bunny pigs. Oh, look at him. Come here, you. Thank you so much. You've made my day. You've seen and touched Andraste's ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Yes, of course, but it still is something to be in awe of. I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Of course.
Yes, a little better. Time heals all wounds, so they say. Scars remain, but they are just colors in the painting that is my life, no? Yes, that is what I'm saying. I wish things had happened differently, but knowing her and knowing me, I don't think it could have. We had good times though, and I look back on those fondly. Whatever happened after will never change the truth of the past. It's not so bad. Look, now I have new friends, a new family. In spite of it all, life Life is good. You will have the best equipped army Ferelden has ever seen. I got a moment, hey, sure. What about? All right. Huh? What say you? Again? I'm game. Yes. Yes.
You return. Might you have news? You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King, but it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. 
Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the lands meet. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. <laughs> 